Hello, it's Jane here from craftwithjane.co.uk and this is a showcase video for you. Um, today I have brought you uh, my um, virtual make and takes from uh, the Pootles team retreat, a uh, summer retreat it was, um, and I'm a member of that team and uh, these projects were virtual make and takes inspired by some of my fellow demonstrators so I'm going to take you through them uh, briefly one by one just to talk a little bit about the projects and obviously to um, highlight the uh, demonstrators that inspired them and um, just to mention the products used um, and uh, so we'll get on. This is uh, one of the make and take projects and this was uh, the project that was inspired by um, Debbie of Debsy Daisy Crafts and this is a reverse easel card. So if I turn it on its side, usually when you make a, an easel card you turn this element, uh, this part of the card, in the other way and it makes a little triangle fold just like this. However, this one's a reverse one. Very interesting. Um, first time I've seen a reverse easel card, so thank you very much, Debbie. So, uh, for most of the make and takes, we actually were using the Sweet as a Peach bundle. However, I decided to use the DSP from the Beauty of Earth. And I absolutely love this. I don't actually have the coordinating stamp set and dies. So, I um, looked at this particular paper here and I felt that um, one of our stamp sets that carried over this year uh, Forever Fern and the um, accompanying dies might complement this paper so I've used them just here and the die just here. I've used the um, rhinestones for the I think they're the holiday rhinestones and I've used the blues just there as well to pick up on the colours which I thought was quite sweet. And uh, so this is the reverse uh, easel card. This is the second make and take. And this card was inspired by Hannah from um, Stamping by Hannah. And it uses the DSP and the stamp set and the dies. So the DSP is called Your Peach. Um, and as you can see, it's well used, this DSP uh, set for me. And um, the stamp set is uh, sweet as a peach and the dies are the peach dies. And they can they cut out the peaches and the small peaches here. Um, and this branch just here and the flowers. And they've got some amazing sentiments. And I just love the font in this photopolymer set. Um, so for this, I used some DSP. Um, I used the lovely thanks so much sentiment. I've used some in colour, um, 2021 to 2023 in colour jewels. My absolute favourite, as probably most of you know now. And um, we've used, I've used some um, peaches here, which I've uh, die cut out. And then, I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can turn it. And I've raised one of them up on some dimensionals some stamping dimensionals there. And I just used a white matte layer with a little bit of the DSP just on the bottom here just to complement the card. So a simple card, um, but I think it's quite effective and I really like the colours. We rarely, I rarely use balmy um, blue, but um, I was uh, able to use it in this card quite a lot. And actually this whole set uses um, a lot of balmy blue in it as well, which is quite lovely because it's a colour that I don't frequently use, um, but I think it looks really fresh and nice. So thank you for that. The third uh, make and take, so we're halfway through, is this really sweet mini album. And this was from Hilary, and Hilary's from the Netherlands. Um, I will, um, I don't actually know her blog sort of name, so I will um, make sure I put that in the links below or, or put it in the text below for you. Um, and this was a really sweet little project. So uh, it's used the hand-penned uh, DSP, um, which is just here, as you can see, used quite a lot of this DSP so I've got lots of um, scraps in there left over to do some cute projects with and I actually did use scraps to make this project um, because it does have a lot of smaller lined layers throughout it and it's very sweet actually again I've used my absolute favorite in color 2021-2023 jewels just there and I've used the anything is possible um, from the stamp set that accompanies the hand penned paper. So um, this is the lovely um, pale papaya woven ribbon as well. So I'll undo it and I'll just show you inside. So it uh, concertinas out. 
and it's got little tags for you to be able to put uh, which I've stamped on the bottom of just for you to be able to put some uh, little um, messages in there uh, you could, or you could journal on the back uh, stick little photos on there um, and put extra bits here it's quite sweet and as you can see the DSP layers follow throughout so it is uh, you can journal on the back of here you can stick things on the back of here as well and it folds back up and fits very neatly into this lovely little shape so shall I try and uh, try and tie a bow again on camera this is not my most uh, avid skill as a crafter uh, bow tying so bear with me there we go I'll try and try and do it justice there we go I mean that's not too bad <laughs> so uh, that is my uh, little mini journal inspired by uh, Hilary, Hilary from I think the Netherlands and I'll put her um, little blog below for you. This is the fourth um, make and take and this was inspired by Janice uh, from Jazzle Dazzle Craft and it is a, sm uh, a small or mini slimline card uh, with a coordinating envelope um, and again I've used the DSP from the sweet as a peach uh, um, pack and I've also used the coordinating DSP here I've used the stamp set and dies and um, the sweet as a peach stamp set with the coordinating uh, peach dies and on here I've used the stitched so sweetly uh, dies here and I think I've used them through quite a few of the projects because this and the contour dies are one of my favorite dies to go to for sentiments and general matte layering that's a little bit um, different as opposed to just plain cut. So I've used a black cardstock to um, matte and layer just to make things pop up a little bit and I've used the balmy blue colour again to match here and I thought this was a really sweet little card and the fact that um, you've got a coordinating envelope um, just uh, works beautifully and um, as you can see it is made perfectly to fit and I'd probably use some strong adhesive to stick the back down but it could be posted certainly through the UK post um, but you might want to put it in with something else. This is the fifth make and take um, and this was inspired by Heidi from Flutter by Heidi and she used the Sweet as a Peach um, stamp set with the peach dies to accompany it and also used a punch just here as well. Um, this is mainly the pale papaya colour um, and I believe it's got some possibly a little bit of, let me think, uh, Calypso coral, that's it. A little bit of Calypso coral um, just around the edges there, which was um, sponged on with the dauber. She also um, used the Versamark clear emboss technique just here, which is where you um, stamp your stamp with the Versamark first and then you use the colour um, and then you uh, heat emboss. And it gives, I don't know if you can see that on here, but it gives quite a an, a unique sort of pitted sort of gloss to it almost um, very fitting for a peach or a nectarine and that's just there so that looks quite sweet and um, the pale papaya a woven ribbon as well which I think finishes off lovely uh, so this is the card and inside I used a little scrap of DSP and also did a little bit of stamp in there just to add a fun element inside so that is the make and take from Heidi Flutter by Heidi this is the final make and take and this was inspired by Jez from Nigeza Creates and it is a slimline box. Um, it, it I think was made to house cards and envelopes but you could house some memory and more, um, your memory and more cards in here as well and it's super cute. I For this project I actually used the Sweet Symmetry DSP which is just here and I used the artistic dies from the Expressions in Ink Suite uh, which I love and use quite frequently and I matched, I, I tried to make it sort of um, a two-tone colour so I used the Bumblebee DSP with the Bumblebee Gingham rib Ribbon and I used Night of Navy cardstock and Night of Navy cardstock for here so if I just take the ribbon off and then open it up you can see that it's a basic uh, slimline box construction um, uh, but it is uh, quite effective and I think um, I really like the colours that I've chosen for this project. Quite, I quite like yellow 
and I quite like a bit of navy. I think Knight of Navy is potentially one of my favourite uh, basic cardstock colours uh, that I would choose to use. Uh, probably over black and white, I would uh, opt for navy. Uh, so yeah, so that's um, the final of the uh, make and takes. Thank you for watching my video today. I just wanted to remind everybody that um, we do have a 15% off um, DSP on a selection of DSPs and I've actually used quite a few of them within these projects. There's Beauty of the Earth, there is Bloom Where You Planted, Hand Penned, Pansy Petals, In the Wild, In Good Taste, which is a bumper pack. Sweet Symmetry, Tidings of Christmas and Your Peach. And these are relatively new um, DSPs um, other than the In Good Taste. Uh, and they are currently 15% off um, for the whole of July 2021. I think, I believe it ends on the 2nd of August. So if you're like me and love the uh, super quality DSP that Stampin' Up! provide, um, now's your time to stock up. So if you follow the links below, you can shop with me. So that's the DSP and I've used a few of them within the projects uh, from the make and takes here today. So I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching. I'd be really grateful if you could like and um, comment and subscribe um, and ring the bell for notifications. And um, I um, also have my links to my shop below or if you'd like to join my team, I'll put that link uh, in the description as well. So thanks for now and um, bye everyone and happy crafting.